We have a story on Senior Service Day. Assign parking spot problems. Information on scholarships. And the cheer showcase. Hey Vikes, I'm Caitlin. I'm Jessica and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. If you are interested in entering the Battle of the Bands, go to the meeting in Mr. Cromie's room in E3 tomorrow during activity period. Finals are going to be done differently this year. Check Schoology for this year's schedule. Applications for joining the Writing Center staff is in Ms. Sands' room in W7. They will be due at 3.05 December 17th. We have been having problems in our school's parking lots. Let's go check out more. Hey Vikes, I'm out here in the Seaman parking lot and many people have been having problems with other people parking in their assigned parking spots. Let's go talk to Mr. McKay and a couple other students to learn more about it. If, if that were to happen, you need to come to the security office and tell Deputy Fair or myself uh, that somebody's parking in your spot and at that point we will um, go determine who's parking in your spot and speak to them about parking in their proper spot or getting them a parking permit if they do not have one. If I can add to that, if they are, if somebody is parked in your spot, make sure to park still in the north lot between the handicapped and the student of the month parking. It happened for a couple weeks, like at the beginning of school, and then now it just happens like every once in a while. Okay, so if everybody just started willy-nilly just parking wherever they did, this wouldn't work. So um, I know everybody doesn't get the best spot they want, however, uh, this is what we have come up with and they chose that spot so uh, if you have a spot you need to park in it. Make sure to park in your assigned parking spots. Now back to your anchors. Make sure you park in your assigned parking spots. Allie wants to find out more information about the upcoming scholarships. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex to talk about the Seaman Scholarships. So what are they? Well, the one that was posted is the SEAF Scholarship, which is the Seaman Education Advantage Foundation Scholarships. And various alumni have given money to the um, Seaman Education um, Foundation for them to have these scholarships. So there's a lot of different scholarships. There's general scholarships, which any senior can apply for. Um, there is the Amy Leeds Scholarship, who was a graduate here. You might remember her on KSNT TV. She's, that's for someone that's going into journalism or co communications. There's um, a couple of tech scholarships. If you're going specifically to Washburn Tech after high school, there's a scholarship for that. Or there's also a scholarship for any tech school or community college for you to go to. And then there's the new one this year is the Ed um, Albert Scholarship, which is someone going into education. So a lot of opportunity, usually since it's so early and around finals time, we don't have that many applicants. So get out there, get your scholarship application in. You might get some money to go to school. Remember, you can't win a scholarship if you don't apply for a scholarship. Awesome. Seniors, make sure and apply for those. Now back to your anchors. If you're interested in any of them, go check Schoology. The Boys and Girls Club are hiring part-time right now for their before and after school program. Check out Schoology for more information. Congratulations to Josh Duncan and Emma Meinholt for being drawn for the Safe Seat Belt Drawing Prize. Stop by the security office to pick up your prize. We have another Senior Service Day story. Let's go see what they did. For Senior Service Day, Mrs. Show's seminar went to a nearby property to clean it up for winter. So I'm a member at Countryside Christian Church, which is the building right here in the background that um, right next to the property. And just driving up on a weekly basis and seeing how it was just getting worse and worse and more and more run down. Um, just, you know, decided that for the sake of the community and the neighbors and everyone else that, you know, if we needed something to do that we could just come and 
with a big group of us knock it out pretty quick. We're cleaning up this house's yard because it was foreclosed. An elderly couple passed away and they had no one to take care of it and it needed cleaned up. So we came to clean it up. I was picking up all of the big sticks and I was getting things out of the way and then taking little piles and helping make a bigger pile. We cut down all the weeds. Uh, we cleaned up against the house. There was, I'm short, but there's weeds taller than me. So we cut everything down. Students believe that they impacted the community with their service. Yeah, because I felt like I was able to kind of give back to the city, I guess. I don't know. I felt like I was actually doing something helpful with my time. Getting to hang out with my class and kind of get a different perspective on them outside of the classroom and interact and do something and like accomplish something as a whole, it's been a great day. In the end, Mrs. Show would like to continue this senior service day for years to come. That seemed really fun. Now over to Jessica with the sports after this quick commercial break. Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens' developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. What's up guys? It's your guy, Elias Mosier here, and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like, go touchdown bowl, man. Like, get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. Make sure to attend events and give a welcoming and safe environment for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Be courteous with all and display good sportsmanship. <laughs> Keep facilities clean and follow school policies and procedures. Display school spirit. Win with character, lose with dignity. Be a Viking. Attend school events. story on the cheer showcase that happened last weekend. Two weeks ago, SHS cheerleaders competed in their Keisha event. We went to the event and caught up with some of the cheerleaders who competed. So we're here for state competition and as of right now we've done all of our three events, our band chant, fight song, and cheer, and we will know finals in um, a little bit here. So hopefully we'll make it to finals. Um, as a senior, I really just want to do better than fifth. in this routine as well as everyone else and thank you to everyone that has come out um, to the showcase out to the games and watched us do what we do um, it really means a lot to us so we just hope that we can do really good today as a freshman it's really fun being part of the squad I'm really proud of the squad we've done really good we've been working on this for two months and we've gotten up in the mornings and we've stayed after schools and we put so much work into this and I'm just proud for like how our team's doing our cheerleaders did very good, but did not make it to finals, just short of a couple points. We started off with band chant, which we did to Seven Nation Army, and it looked awesome. And then we did our fight song, uh, 
um, and it looked even better and so it was a really great start. Um, next up we have our crowd leading section and we're really excited to have so many students and parents in the stands to be able to yell with us. Even though it wasn't the outcome that they expected, Shawnee Heights came out on top and they hope to see you cheering them on next year. Congrats to our cheer team. On Friday, Maddie Steiner will sign a letter of intent to play volleyball at Johnson County Community College. Congratulations, Maddie. There is a swim meet at the Natatorium at 3.30 today. Now over to Kaylin to see how cold it's going to be for the rest of this week. Good afternoon, bikes. Looks like today's high is going to be in the 50s and it's going to get pretty chilly tonight. For your three-day forecast, you're going to warm up on Thursday and get a little cooler on Friday and Saturday. Now back to your anchors. That's all for today, bikes. Have a great rest of your day.